Hey guys, it's Brittany and today I'm coming to you guys with another wig review. I put up like four or five like human hair wigs recently. So it's been a while since um, I've done a synthetic wig review. Not that long, it's been about a week and a half. But um, yeah, so I'm back with more synthetic wig reviews. So today's video is brought to you by Glamortrust.com. The wig that I am wearing is a wig that I have made and I'm going to have more information and a review on this hair coming up probably the day after this wig review goes up. So the wig that I chose is a wig I'm pretty excited about. It is a model model wig and you guys know one of my favorite wigs from model model is Blue Meadow. That is one of my favorite wigs of all time. So every time they come out with a wig that kind of looks like it, I want to try it because that wig just is like one of my favorites. So when I saw Model Model's Top Meadow on their website, this is what she looks like. When I saw her on the website, I was like, I have to try that. And I have the color that the model has on, which is PB Caramel. Um, and that is what, let me turn this down. That is what PB Caramel looks like on the model. It can be curled up to 400 degrees and it is a L part wig. So I was tempted to get PB Cinnamon because, okay, another one of my favorite wigs from uh, Model Model is Pop Blossom and I had Pop Blossom and PB Cinnamon and it's just a really warm, highlighted, uh, kind of curly wig. Um, but I wanted to try out PB Caramel and I've already cut the lace off of this wig and took a look at the color and I'm pretty excited about it. This is what the wig looks like here. Look at that. Look at the highlights on that or that like strip of caramel. That is so pretty. So this wig came with soft lace um, and a lot of people like soft lace. And here's the part in space. Now I will say to me, I felt like the part in space, it was a little bit dense and the knots were really obvious, so I decided to um, pull um, a good amount of hair out of the parting space. You have two combs in the front. You have that little area of parting right there. You have a comb in the back as well as adjustable straps. And the color goes from like a, to me like a number four, and then it slowly fades into that caramel color. That is beautiful. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this one off and just try this on. Oh man, that color is gorgeous. Okay, so even before I have combed this out, this color, this color is so pretty. It's so pretty. So, um, yeah, this is really pretty. I'm gonna go get my wig grip and put it on so I don't have to do as much um, to keep this on my head. And while I am, well before I go get my wig grip, this does feel like a medium to large cap. So if you have a smaller head, you're gonna have to adjust your straps or just wear your wig grip like I'm about to do. So I'm back and I have applied this wig to my head and I really love this color. It is so pretty. 
oh, just the way that's blended is so nice. Like, this is a color I would like to achieve with like dyeing some bundles. I think this is so pretty. So I'm gonna show you guys the color in all directions. So most, most of the color is in the front. And um, I guess I'm so used to Model Model um, Blue Meadow. Model Model Blue Meadow is pretty long. It's like 20, 22 inches or something like that. This one is more wearable or, well I feel like this is more, this is more of an everyday length. This is about 16 inches long. 16 inches long, so it's not super long. This is a, a common style that you will see with like a lot of wigs with the swoop bang and then the barrel curls. But what makes this wig for me is absolutely the color. Um, the texture of this wig is a yakky texture. It's definitely a yakky texture. Um, it has a very nice natural luster. It's not shiny. So far I haven't had any snags with running my hands through the hair. I do have a little bit of shedding but not like, not a ton. Have a little bit of hump action up here but you can always use a hot tool and run it over it. Or just use whatever you have to flatten that part out. But this, this wig has a beautiful bang on it. And that's like my thing. And that one is really thick. It's not like see-through. This is so pretty. Um, and this has soft lace. It's an L part wig, but this part of space just looks straight to me. I don't see any like curves in it. But you do get a lot of parting space with this wig. Um, and I told you guys the cap size on this wig is about a medium to large cap, but I have on my wig grip, so it's fitting very snug to my head. Yeah, so as far as I'm concerned, I don't have any cons except it has a little bit of, it's very dense up top. I will say probably it has, probably has filler hairs or something like that, but it feels kind of dense up top, but it's not too dense. I've had some wigs where it was like just extreme up top, but this one is, is not bad. You probably just need to run a hot tool over the top, but I would, happily take that con to get this color. This looks so pretty with these curls too. I really like this wig and as far as first impressions go, I would recommend this wig. I do like it a lot. But I but I tend to fall into a certain style that I like. Everybody knows that who watches my channel, swoop bangs and like barrel curls. That's my thing. I just think it looks so like classic and natural and then to make it more interesting, just add a really nice color to it. So, I would suggest this wig to you guys if you're looking for something. Definitely, this is Valentine's Day approved hair right here. Um, date night hair, this is beautiful. Um, so if you are looking for Valentine's Day hair, this could be a good option for you. And check out my like special occasion date night wig playlist that could help you guys out with your Valentine's Day hair as well, so check that out. I'll put that playlist on the info card for you guys. Um, if you did enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Subscribe if you haven't already and turn on your notifications because I'm gonna be having a lot more videos for you guys coming up. And I'm gonna be starting my wig one-on-one series, uh, well, synthetic wig one-on-one series as I told you guys I was gonna do. So, yeah, I wanna thank Glamour Tress for sending me this wig. And I want to thank you guys for always supporting my channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.